the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Today, I'm trying out a new live stream streaming software named um, StreamYard. Lynn PF from No Nonsense Whiskey used it last night, and I was very impressed. And I just did a stream uh, in English and German. I decided to do a live stream here in English as well. So one person is actually watching. The quality looks kind of okay. I look very fuzzy. I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to see the settings are actually on the standard definition of 480p. If I go up, it. Uh, it doesn't get much better, so I'm going to try to go to 720 and see if I get a better stream that way. Thank you very much for everyone who watched the um, the repeat. Um, great that you're here. What am I tasting? I'm tasting this. Now, this is not something very interesting, but it is. I'm a member of the Whis Celtic Whiskey Club from Dublin. And, ooh, that was not nice. <laughs> with our live stream with the um, autofocus and they send about eight to ten times a year nice little samples over today i have the dublin liberties murder lane 13 year old single malt and it was actually finished in a hungarian taka g cask red wine red dessert wine so that's a very, very interesting thing. 13 years old. This is whiskey base number. Oh, I can actually show this. So let's share my screen so you can see this. And then you are going to have a little bit of a shock together. This is actually here, the whiskey base number 127928. And it's 160 euros. That's amazing. 13-year-old Hungarian. Um, this is how the bottle looks. This is how the packaging looked. You can see here it's um, a single malt and um, Murder Lane. So let's get rid of this picture. We'll go back to our live stream here. Why Murder Lane? Because between the Bow Street and the James Street, there was a alley. And especially in the 1600s, many women, children, even men lost their lives there because of bad people, Murder Lane. So 160 euros, 300 bottles published or um, 300 bottles released in total. That is not very, very well. The name comes from the lane that was renamed Cromwell's Quarters in 1892, a name that many Irish would find equally unpalatable. Murdering Lane, as it was previously known, still exists today and links Bow Lane to James Street. Even today, it is not a street you would wish to take a stroll down on a dark night. So this is just one of a few Irish whiskeys that have been finished in the Tokaye wine cast, although they are also occasionally seen here. Ooh, Welsh Toro, great to see you. Murder Lane, sounds serious. Have you just had your supper? I hope so. And this is actually just one of, um, batch one is a very small production whiskey that was limited to just 300 bottles in Ireland. It was created to celebrate the opening of the new Dublin Liberties Distillery which has started its operation this year. So look at that, Murder uh, murder Lane, sounds serious. Hi, Jason, hi, Walsh. Now I would like to show you, if I may, here the, um, the distillery. So this is actually the um, Dublin Liberties that just opened, I think it was the 22nd distillery that opened up in Ireland just a few months ago. And they brought out this nice little series here. You see on the left-hand side, the Oak Devil, new labels, by the way, it's a five-year-old. Then you have the Cooper Alley, which is the 10-year-old. Then you have the 13-year-old, which we're talking about, which is Murder Lane. And then you see the Keeper's Coin, a 16-year-old, 340 euros um, expensive bottle of Irish whiskey that is matured in the PX. And what's was not even in the bottle was a Liberty's King of Hell, a 27 euro, a 27 uh, year old, 2,700 euro expensive bottling, um, finished in Bordeaux Premium Cru. So um, we have here the man responsible for the master distiller, and in this case, probably the blender. That is Daryl McNally. So um, going back here now to my um, whiskey live stream. Let's check and take a look at the quality of the pictures are always crisp, crystal clear. I'm okay today. I think the colors are um, a little bit fuzzy. I'm going to have to work on that. 
So um, for those of you that don't know anything here about this area of Hungary, we have here the wine country of Hungary. Actually, I've been here to Lake Balaton, beautiful, beautiful area down here. And we have something called up here Slovakia. And we have the Takaji um, region here. And actually it goes all the way over here because of a dumb treaty from I don't know when. So if you're ever in Hungary, a beautiful landlocked country, Slovak Slovakia here with Prague, Ukraine over here with Kiev, Romania over here with Budapest, uh, Serbia, then you have Slovenia, and then you actually have Austria with Vienna here. If you go from um, beautiful, beautiful places, you can go. Um, I've spent a little bit of time in that country. Nice, nice place. Really, really like it. So if anyone else writes a comment, you'll get a shout out. Uh, what else can I say here? Yeah, that's about it. Let's pour it and let's try it and let's compare it. So um, what I originally wanted to compare it to was, and I absolutely failed because it's way too good, Red Spot 15, the single pot still. Um, this is bourbon, sherry, and mazala. Mm, this is so good. A very, very good thing. Only available at the moment. Whoops, sorry. In Ireland, 99 euros. This is 160 euros. So what we have here instead is I'm going to compare it to the quiet man, 12-year-old. Why? Because basically back then, 12 years ago, we had three distilleries where we could get whiskey from in Ireland um, at that age. Let me see. Ah, it works out fairly nice. That is then uh, Middleton, and they normally don't give up any casks. That is Bush Mills, and it has a very unique taste, very, very creamy. And you have Cooley, and this is Cooley juice, finished in a um, sherry cask. That was Olo Rosso sherry cask, and this is a Hungarian Takaji um, red dessert wine cask. Very nice finish, a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of red raspberries. I just had raspberries yesterday. Um, beautiful, beautiful, ripe aroma. I made a fruit salad with honey melon and cantaloupe and blueberries and pineapple and then raspberries. And the raspberries, boom, they popped and it was really, really nice. Over here, we have a, a musky type of scent. The Orlo Rosso casks here for the quiet men were back then. Methuselah casks that they actually um, organized, 30 plus year old, um, old sherry casks. And you can feel and really just enjoy them. Both of them, 46%, 12 year old versus 13 year old, um, 46 euros over here versus 106 euros over here. Uh, 300 bottles in total just for the opening of the distillery. And over here, we had maybe many thousands. I actually don't know what the batch was, how big that was. I'm sorry. I did not have or I do not have any information on that. So, um, okay. You said you think it's pronounced, I think it's pronounced Toki. Now, I what I actually did, I must admit, is I went... Um, so let's see here, um, Tokye, and I actually typed in the word pronunciation, and um, the J is pronounced like a Y in the word U. So, Toka, Y, U, U. So, all right, good. I, I, I wrote, I was, I heard the pronunciation. It's more of a maybe it was a German pronunciation. Who knows? It was the Taka G. Um, but thank you very much. I'm very, very glad that someone corrects my bad pronunciation. I feel like I'm in good company with Bart and maybe even Scott sometimes. Who knows? Um, vanilla, as I said, raspberries, malt, a little bit of alcohol. Nice. That musky, musty, musky as well, the K. Um, Olo Rosso sherry, very dark, very rich, very nice. So cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What really doesn't rock my boat is the alcohol. It's sharp. It's peppery. It's very, very hot. Um, much, much hotter than I was expected to going to be. Actually, my um <laughs> here. 
my um, control whiskey was the black bush. Hey, three people are now watching. Good, whoever arrived. Hmm. So I'm actually doing a live stream with a test. And I have over here the Liberties uh, Murder Lane, 300 bottles total in um, Ireland compared to the Quiet Man Sherry Cask, 12-year-old. Mm -hmm. mm. Much smoother. That, that sherry moment is more... It explodes, it's not the right word, it covers and um, spreads throughout the whole mouth, um, under the tongue, the cheek, the top of the mouth, everything's just lightly coated. It's not an oily whiskey per se, but it is a very, very nice whiskey. I think this is actually the best um, Quiet Man I've ever had. I've had, I think, except for one, the wine cast that just came out about eight months ago. I've had them all, and I've been disappointed sometimes, but this was a very, very nice one. So what I did is I learned from Ralphie, and I learned that sometimes it's actually a good idea to play with your whiskey before you do a video, and that's exactly what I did, is I learned that the 46% is not great. Hello, David. Good evening, sir. So I guess you're over here in the Europe part of the world and not in the States. Otherwise, it would be good afternoon. Great to see you. Very, very good. If you write something in the chat, you actually get to be shown. That's one of the nice features features now here of the StreamYard. Putting a little bit of water in there actually opens it up. The raspberries, the vanilla, the maltiness actually calms down a tiny little bit. It's diluted, but yet when you try it, Mm. The pepperiness of this just um, dissipates. It turns into a very, very nice whiskey. It turns into a flavorful whiskey. It turns into whiskey I would be um, proud to give to someone else. Without the water, it's a little bit of... It's just hot. And I'm not sure if I'm always looking for a very hot whiskey here for my um, Irish whiskeys, to be honest. So um, about three more minutes, a little bit of uh, discussion here. As I mentioned before, you can actually um, see the distillery that just opened up. If you're in the Jameson um, Experience Center is what I'm going to call it. It's a, more of a museum then it actually is a distillery. You go around the corner, you get to go here, you get to see that. They actually brought up these new bottles here of the Cast Devil, the Copper Alley, the Murder Lane in the middle here, the 13 year old, and we have the Keeper's Coin. The guy who's actually responsible for this is here, Daryl McNally. He's a very, very good guy and he's doing a good, good job. And as you can see also here, the um, region of the Hungarian red sweet wine is up here. And here would be Budapest, or the Budapest, as they say. And Lake Balatan also has a good, good wine region. So moving back here, um, there's a comment that just came in. So right down by the Liberties of Dublin. Correct. That's why it's called the Liberties Distillery. The Liberties, great place to go. Um, very, very nice. Good people. A friend of mine was just there on um, Wednesday, and he said he was welcomed, um, and it was a great, great, great tour. So um, the best thing you can do to this whiskey is add a little bit of water, bring it down to 42%. It turns into something very, very nice. I'm going to actually give this a B minus minus. I have the A, why haven't you bought it? B, you can buy it. C, you can buy it. D, you don't have to buy it. And, and F, oh, why was this even made? And this is definitely, a, with water, a B minus minus, C plus plus, right around that range in between. The only problem is there are only 300 bottles of this, and it goes for 160 euros. So right now about, what, $185, which is way too much. And it was an exclusive here for, the, um, for Dublin. I have to say it is good to see a new Irish distillery. Despite the volume of stuff, I only drink a handful of whiskeys. Very good. So yes, we have a total of 30, no, 25 different whiskey distilleries in Ireland that are now operational. It's going to take a little while before they actually all come online. Um, Teeling just brought out their batch number four. 
three, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't like it, um, but it's a single pot still, which is just too young. Dublin, um, uh, Dublin. Pierce, I actually have their five-year-old. I bought a bottle at the airport when I was there last year. The cast strength, very, very nice stuff. Um, slowly but surely, the new distilleries are bringing things out. Uh, watch, watch this space is going to be exciting, and it's not just anymore. Um, Teeling, um, Teeling, oh, I'm sorry, Cooley or Bushmills juice. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a nice little twang in there as well with that red sweet dessert wine. Well done, well done. I am, I think 300 um, bottles, 46% means it was one cask only. And so who knows if they're going to do that again. Mm, very good. Value for money, unfortunately, it's not. It's a D minus. It's not something I can recommend buying. Unless, of course, you're a fan or a future fan of that distillery. So my question is of the day. Which Irish whiskey, 12 years or older, has a finish? Now, I would have said, what's your favorite Irish whiskey, 12 years or older? And many, many people would have said, oh, red breath, cast drink. And it's great, but it's not a finish. So my question for all my viewers, as well as people watching the replay, is what um, Irish whiskeys do you know of? I don't care if you like it or not. What do you know of that actually have a great finish? One of the first things I thought of was here the um, Irishman 17-year-old, but it's a full maturation in a sherry cask. By the way, one of the best Irish whiskeys in the world. It um, beats, in my personal opinion, even the Redbreast 21. Um, that is a very, very good thing. Then I also thought of the Potts um, Red Spot here, as I mentioned before, um, maybe, maybe with a Mazala finish. And then I thought of the Bushmill 16, but 16 is actually a mixture of the three different casks, and they were fully matured in them as well as, as far as I know, and I remember telling, being told that on the street, on the on the tour. All right, whiskey, Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American. This is actually more of a solid C, uh, maybe even C plus. Let's give it a C plus today. This is the B minus. This is a C plus. This is the best Irish, um, the, the quiet men I've ever had. Yes, okay, and I think the yellow spot, which is also 12 years old, is a finish. Very, very good job, Welsh tour. I don't have it here. Um, it is now a no-age statement, so it cannot be, or it is not exactly 10, uh, 12 years old. Green spot used to be 10 years old, and now it's just a green spot, no age statement. Yellow spot, no age statement, but the red spot is actually then 15 years old, so who knows? Um, so the Artur Anacona does have a um, Toka wine finish, if I'm not mistaken. I did batch number one, and it didn't have a um, Hungarian wine finish at that time. Um, Billy Walker did that. My video is actually online. I'm not sure. So that's a very, very good point, David. I think there will be a new batch. Um, there should be three releases um, for the next three years. So a total of nine releases before their own products go online. And they, it was 129, 139 euros for the one bottle. Um, that was really something that um, I thought was unnecessary. But I guess, hey, if you're making money, why not? All right. So once again, the Quiet Men 12-year-old Sherry Cast 46%. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is better? Nice. With water. Um, they have Methuselah casks there, actually 30-year-old. They bought. Um, if you know more than I do, I was there last year. I actually was in the building when they had actually um, taken down all the walls and had the pots where uh, pot stills were ordered, and then the bank um, canceled the, their, their um, loan, their credit line. And, um, yeah, what's going to happen with a quiet man, I don't know. Michael Moore left, went to um, a new thing and a new um, brand, and that's uh, very interesting to see what's going to happen there. It would be a shame if the quiet man just disappeared. Okay, very, very good. Thank you very much for watching. Four people are on now. Um, I'm going to still say goodbye. If you write a comment in the next 20 seconds, I'll show that to you. 
Um, otherwise, I'm going to say Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys, 300 bottles. If that's not rare and exotic, an Ireland only um, release, and I get to have it here in Germany, get to share it with you on all the world. That's the thing that I just love. All right, all the best. You'll see my videos coming out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I guess this is my Friday video since I didn't post anything. I have a lot of other things already um, filmed that I'm going to have to um, put those up for release in the future. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, cheers, all. See you soon. Bye-bye.